Kiana continuing now with four more people arrested in connection to a deadly home invasion last week. That makes a total of six people charged with the murder of 15 year old Jordan Shores. The sheriff's office arrested two teenagers and a minor yesterday at Silver Bluff High School. A 19 year old adult suspect turned himself in last night. News Channel 6's Stephanie Boardman now with the latest developments. According to initial reports, three suspects took off in a red sedan after the shooting, leading to a car chase. Not long after the incident, deputies were able to catch two of the three men. However, investigators have now determined there were actually two cars outside the home with three more suspects in the other vehicle. Our sergeant, patrol sergeant chased one of them while the other vehicle went the other direction. A second car seen at this home now puts Ronquavius Howard, Raheem McCorkle, and a juvenile in the center of a murder investigation, according to the Aiken County Sheriff's Office. Early Friday morning, Jordan Shores was shot during a home invasion, and another victim was hit with a weapon. Captain Eric Abdullah says he cannot comment on whether Howard, McCorkle, or the juvenile also went inside the home, but says the puzzling murder of the Midland Valley High School student all leads back to the teen's PlayStation 4. As far as a motive at this point, you still cannot confirm. Well, if you look at the charges that these uh, suspects have been um, charged with, you know, we can go ahead and infer that the motive is robbery. News Channel 6 has learned two of the suspects were involved in athletics at Silver Bluff High School. According to the 2015-2016 basketball roster, McCorkle played guard and forward for the Bulldogs. This year's football roster shows Howard played cornerback on the varsity team. Charges for all six suspects have been upgraded to include one count of murder, two counts of attempted murder, first degree burglary, and armed robbery, among other things. Did any of these kids know each other? I can't go into the details of their relationship because I, I don't know exactly how they, they, their interaction occurred, so there's no way for, possible for me to be able to, to comment or speculate on that. The 15-year-old has a detention hearing tomorrow in Aiken County. A judge will decide whether to release him back to his parents or keep him in custody. The state is seeking continued detention. Dixon and Schultz will make a first appearance in court on January 6th. Prosecutors say a court date has not been set for the other three suspects. Jenny, back to you.